Good morning. That's funny. I'm wearing two glasses. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. All right. So I have a little treat for you. Um, Victoria is going to be my model. I am going to demonstrate how to remove gel polish from the surface of her hands. She's had gel polish on her hands for at least three weeks. It's been at least three weeks. It's it's crazy. So I did them three weeks ago. We're testing out some wear. Uh, she wears gel polish really, really well, but I'm gonna show you how to use an electric file to remove them, and then... She has picked out... Uh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. There's a new Manic color coming, Black Friday, and I'm gonna show you a preview of all the new colors. Uh, there's four new Manic colors that we're launching for Black Friday, which is super exciting. Um, tons of new stuff. I wanna kinda of feature this, but instead of just showing you the color, I'm gonna show you how I actually remove it, reapply it. That way you guys have a really good idea. But just to give you an idea of uh, Victoria's hands, all right? So you can see how much growth, right? Um, this is three weeks of wear on her hands. Um, the color that I'm gonna be applying, phenomenal, that's that. And then I'll show you guys, <clears throat> this is fantastical. Mm -hmm. Fantastical, right? That's a preview of the second manicure color that's coming. Uh, this is windfall. Um, this is gonna be incredible for fall. And last but not least, we have little gem, which is, um, that beautiful type of, uh, it's like this off gray, absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, <clears throat> those are the uh, three out of four. And then the one that I'm actually going to be phenomenal is the one that Victoria wants to work with. So we're going to go ahead and get right to this. So I'm going to run the, the vent on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my electric file. For those of you guys who are really looking to get into a gray electric file, uh, this is perfect. I'm going to run it about 8,000 RPMs and I'm going to be using the safety bit <clears throat> to remove it. So <clears throat> what I do is I can set the vent so that she could rest her wrist right there. This also gives me an opportunity to rest mine. And what we're going to do, I'll get in tight so you can see uh, when I am removing gel polish from the surface, what I like to do is tickle through the center first, as you can see, and then I'll, I'll literally feather down. I don't need to put any aggressive motion into removing the gel because the bit is uh, quite sharp, right? So all I have to do is lightly feather this off and you can see how quickly this comes off of the nail. Um, now, here's the thing. I, I, traditionally, I don't let Victoria's nails go three weeks, but we have absolutely been slammed beyond belief here at the office. And uh, today, I felt this is a perfect day for me to show you guys how to do this. Now, here's the thing. If I'm working this side, I'm not going to be running the barrel like this. What I do is I use zone three, which is this part of the barrel. I have a little bit on my finger right there, as you can see, and I run it forward. So I run it this way, that way the barrel doesn't slip around. So I just lightly tickle, lightly tickle, and you see I'm coming this way so that the barrel doesn't slip. Look how fast I'm actually able to remove that from the surface. You notice how I actually balance my finger here too, right? I have my finger in this position so that is as I'm coming through, I'm actually able to feather it from the surface uh, without, again, creating any indentations in her natural nail. All I am trying to do is feather the color. I don't need to dig it out of the sides. That is not necessary. For all of you guys that are learning how to remove gel polish with your electric file, it's not a, it, it's, it's not a race, right? W what you wanna be able to do is, is have really good control. And you can see how I have in, in a position just like this, I'm actually able to feather this away 
The, the dust vent is, is absolutely amazing for gel polish. This is really going to pull everything away from your face and you can see how easy it is for me to work this off without having to soak. You know, if a customer comes in and I have to wrap everything and then I have to let it sit, that's gonna take a minimum of, I would say eight to 12, maybe 15 minutes, depending on the gel polish for those of you guys that are working with them all out there. I don't have time to do that. I wanna be able to get this off as fast as I can and then move on to the next hand. So you could see how quickly I was actually able to get through this. So her other hand, here's the thing. It's very, you can see how, how her arm just lays across uh, this. In this situation right here, what I would do is I would have, I'm gonna bring her, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have her scoot more this way, exactly. You see that? And then what I can do is I can still have her resting here. And then that way I'm not, you know, she's not contorting her wrist as we work. So all I would have to do is bring her down and through, and then you're going to be able to see how easy it is for me to get this off. Again, I'm not concerned about digging everything off of the nail. There's the only, I can see very, very slight chip that I had right here in the corner. I'm sorry, let me zoom on in so that you guys can see. But feathering motion. I'm not, I'm not digging. There's no, there's no reason to dig. For those of you guys that got your safety bits, the brand new safety bits, it, it really is a matter of learning how to t feather. I'm using my, I'm using my finger as, as a fulcrum. This is balance. And what I'm actually able to do is use the barrel to just lightly feather this away. You know, we don't really talk about uh, gel polish maintenance quite a bit, but I feel because I do Victoria's nails every few weeks, I'm going to start making this practice so that you guys can see the steps that I actually go through to rebalance her gel polish nails. There is, now, again, I, all of you guys out there that are actually doing this, I don't want you, again, to consider this a race. You can see some of the, like if I get closer here, you can see some of the base gel, the residue of the base gel that's still right here. I don't need to dig that out. All I need to do is feather, feather. Be very, very light, feather, right? If I need to get a little bit closer, then I can use a different barrel to get her to get around the edge. I can see that she has a little bit of a pulled cuticle on the corner. And what I'm gonna do again, oops, let me just go ahead and zoom on out. So all her nails are set. So once I have the gel polish fully removed from, see right here on the corner, I'm, I'm coming at an angle, at an angle, at an angle so that the barrel does not slip around the edge of the nail. Okay, so from this point, you know, what I can do is I can go through the whole entire step of you know, I don't like to, I'm not going to clip her nails while they are um, with the gel polish on the edges. I'm going to remove everything and that way if I have to do any uh, like shortening or, or reduction of the natural nail, I want to clip the natural nail while it's bare. So kind of the process I've always gone through. That way I'm, I, I'm not, cra like sometimes the, the gel is really, really thick. And then I'm not able to get, she doesn't really have a lot of natural nail right there. Just kind of getting off any excess. There's a little bit right there. I need to double check to make sure that we're not going to, you can see how she has a little bit of extended hypernicium that goes all the way to the edge. So I, I, I have to be really, really careful that I don't go through and, 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 and get all, all those edges out. Now, all the stuff around the sides right there, what, what I like to do to make sure that we are going to prepare the, the surface of the natural nail, I'm gonna run my, I have a diamond barrel, right? So I'm gonna run this at 3000 RPMs. And what I'm gonna do is just go around and do a little bit of touch up, you know, to make sure that I, I clean the surface of her natural nail, maybe remove any residue that's on. I Again, you can see how 
you can see how her cuticle is right up on the edge. So I could just kind of do a little bit of touch up, right? To just kind of clean that up and then lightly feather away. You can see all that, that, that orange residue. I can come in and I could just kind of clean up that surface to make sure that it's nice and tight. You know, uh, there's a lot of beginners out there I know that are wondering, you know, after you get the gel polish removed from the surface of the nail, should you just buff the natural nail? Do buffing the natural nail is not going to do jack. All it's going to do is create a really, really smooth surface. So what I can do, sorry, I can just kind of clean that up. Let me just kind of get zoomed out a little bit, right? Trying to teach, talk, and work at the exact same time. But what I'll do is I'll quickly come through and remove all the residue, clean up around. Her cuticles do grow a little bit, you know, extended right there. So what I could do is I could come in and just kind of clean everything up, boom. And that's what we want to be able to do. I'm going to move on to the next hand. So in a position just like this where her hand is straight, you can see with an overgrip position, I have my hand just like this. I'm not going to hold the hand like this. I want to be over the top right so that i can get in and you know it, it does help if she's off to the side but what this will prevent the customer from doing is looking right all the way through so i'm going to come in clean her edges and what i mean by looking a lot of your customers when you're holding your hand like this what they want to do is they want to stare they, they constantly want to see what you're doing so you're fighting you're fighting them as soon as you put them in an overgrip position where your hand is blanketed over the top especially when you're using your electric file, what you're going to be able to do is prevent them from basically trying to do your job. And, and that's really important, okay? So again, uh, coming through just lightly, I am not putting any pressure. All I'm doing is removing shine from the surface of the nail, trying to touch up any loose, basically residue that's all around. I'm assuming, right? Let's just assume that we're trying to do a really, really fast uh, service. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna clean it. We have other bits as well that are gonna be on sale for the Black Friday event. You guys gotta get a hold of those, uh, those bits if, if you need anything excess, right? To, to help you in your procedure. So once I'm done going through the process, what I want to be able to do, I'll pull this away, right? And, and then I'm going to come in and basically cleanse the surface of her hands. And what I usually like to do is I usually like to use a, a manicure brush. So I'll, I'll pump the surface. I'll pump the surface of swipe, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll just come through. And what this is going to do is it's just going to kind of not only pull away a lot of the dust, it, it, like I'm concerned about getting the dust away from some of the growth channels. If I do notice a little bit of residue, I could always just take a, you know, a gentle file and just kind of just scratch away any loose stuff that we have here, right? And what I'm doing is I'm coming through. I do notice a little bit of loose uh, gel paint. I'm just going to lightly scratch that away. Nothing crazy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for protein bond. So the nails are prepped and ready to go. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take protein bond and for Victoria's hands, I want, I want three weeks of wear, right? So I'm going to put protein bond on the whole entire finger. For those of you guys out there that want a lot that depend on acetone and want to soak off bases, my suggestion to you is do not put protein bond on the whole entire finger. Put it just barely on the edge of the nail uh, because the protein bond is literally going to make it stick. I, I mean, it's going to make it, it's not going to make it budge at all. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm just applying one coat all the way through. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for base application. There's a couple things I do. I had a customer call me, uh, DM me yesterday, and she was like, hey, I put the base on the nail, and I noticed that it was like pulling away. What do I do? I'm going to show you guys right now. 
Okay, so when you are working your base gel, make sure that we have a nice even coat. Done, okay? All right, so when we're working our base coat, uh, what we want to be able to do, I need a brush, just have that brush here. I'm going to be using Manicure Base. You could use Conversion Base if you want as well. I'm going to start with the pinky. I'm not going to start with the thumb. If you start with the thumb and you work to the pinky, what ends up happening is the product will run. So what I'll do is I'll go through what, like what I do. I, this is what I've always done. I'm not trying to get it perfect. I'm just trying to brush on a nice even coat through the center of her nails and then whatever residue I have, that, that's guaranteed not to run everywhere. So now I can take whatever I have left over on my brush. I could go ahead and work this nice and even and then what I, have, what I have through the middle of the nail, this is going to allow me to come in and just work it nice and even all the way through. Again, it's, it's the same. I've been doing this since we've had gel polish. It's the routine that I go through. I don't try to do one finger at a time. I really try to just use whatever I brushed on here to get from side to side. And then once I have that on, my weak side is always my right side. I'm now going to go inside the light. Okay, boom, 60 seconds. Okay, so while that is curing, I'm going through the same step here. I literally apply a nice even coat, right? I'm gonna go back inside my bottle. I'm going to get a nice, healthy amount. I just brush it down the middle. That way I don't have to worry about it running down the sides. Whatever I have left on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and come through and I'm just going to work, right? I'm trying to do a, again, a very fast set to get my client in and out of the chair during her lunch break. Then I can go through and use my brush to work that nice and even from side to side. Sorry, Victoria, she's like floating her hand because I'm trying to keep it within the camera all the way down, all the way through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch. So the amount of time it took, it was almost, it was like 54 seconds. Okay, now here's the thing. We're going to look at this, okay? And one of the things I want you to notice is that if I'm looking at the surface and I notice that some of it, like this pulled away right there, what I can do is I can use my brush and, and I'm literally going to take the dispersion layer and just kind of work it from side to side so that if it did pull away from the sides, at least that tackiness is going to get to the edges. It's normal, like it does happen. So what I'll do is I'll take my brush and I'll work the dispersion layer from side to side, making sure that we're, we're gonna get it nice and tight all the way through. There's a little bit of of residue there, but I'm not really concerned. So what I do is I work it all the way down to the edges around and then we're gonna go ahead and switch out. She is gonna go inside the light. Again, another 60 seconds. I'm going to take my brush and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna work it as close to the edges as I can. And this, again, you can see the residue that's on my brush. I'm working that dispersion layer from side to side. Right, so if it does pull away, what you're going to be able to do is get it as close to the edges, um, again, as you can. And then once we're done doing this, I'm gonna go back inside the light. We're gonna switch it, right? And now I'm ready for color, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use this Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. All right, this, this color is awesome. This, this coat is very, very rich. So I, I, I need to do really thin coats during application. I do the same exact thing. Once I, once I actually take the, the product out of my bottle, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to work again. It, you can see how I'm actually able to just kind of get it nice and even from side to side. Don't need to get it to the edges right now. My focus is trying to get a even coat right from cuticle to free edge and then what i'll do is i'll come back and do detailing after i'm done i'm just trying to 
crank out a really, really fast set of, of uh, good application, okay? And then I'm gonna try to get my thumb on. Do not worry about trying to make this, like a lot of beginners, what they'll do is they'll try to make their gels like really rich. Don't, don't try to pile it on. Whatever residue you have on your brush with that first coat, that's where you're gonna try to work from side to side, especially if it's a color that's, that's very intense. That way you get really good cure all the way through. You can see how I'm actually holding my hand as I'm working it down the side. I have full control. It's about balance, right? And even this one right here, it doesn't run down to the edges. A lot of beginners struggle with the product running down to the edges because they, they put way too much product on their nail, the pinky as well. It's not running. I have enough product here to come through. And what we're going to do is just make it as tight as we possibly can. And she's gonna go ahead and go inside the light, 460. Okay, so I normally will go through the whole entire thing. I'll just, for me, again, it's, it's creating a routine that, that's going to be able to work. I like to just kind of brush it on, and then if it does move, then what I'll be able to do is go back. There's enough product with just one brush through the surface, and I have enough through here, right? Did I forget to, I think I forgot to, no, I did, I did both of them. Yep, I got them on both ends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just working my brush as close to the edges, okay? And, now, and, and again, you know, for Victoria's hand, since I was just working that residue on the thumb, I'm not putting one big glop coat on her nail. All I'm trying to do is get a really nice, even coat. If I need to get around the edges, I could use a, a detailer brush. You could use a nail art brush to get close to the edges um, if we want to try to get a lot closer. But your first coat, all I really want you to do is don't worry about like, oh my gosh, it's pulling. Just try to get your edges of your brush as close as you can. See how my hands are resting on top of my thumb so they don't get away. They're resting on top and I'm holding the bottle there. That way, if I need to go back inside the bottle, I have the ability to go in and um, get extra product without having uh, to dip my brush you know, away from, from the hand. So I'm just, again, I'm trying to get as tight, working all the way through, and then whatever residue I have here, we're gonna come through and apply. It'll be nice. In the next few weeks, you guys will see uh, the same color on her nail, and we'll go ahead and remove it and reapply it. Go ahead and switch it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I want, I'm gonna double check to make sure everything looks really, really good. And, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we apply one more even coat over the surface. And again, a very, very thin coat. This is going, you can see once I apply my second coat over the surface, how rich that color is going to be. It's gonna, it's gonna look sick when it's done. Okay, so again, coming through, and then what I'll do is I'll just come through and just apply nice amounts over the surface. I don't need a lot for the thumb. I'm just going to touch it because we have really, really good coverage. The th just make sure when you're doing the thumbs as well that, you know, uh, what I like to do is I'll sometimes do all four of the fingers. If you're not getting great reflection with the light, then do them independently, okay? It's very, very important. Can't pile gel polish on. If you pile gel polish on with certain colors and the light's not gonna get through, what's gonna end up happening is you're going to get wrinkling. You're gonna get rippling with the product and not all of the uh, gel polishes are created equal, okay? So what I'm doing is, this is what I'm doing just to go through and make sure that they're nice and even, trying to get as close to my edges. It's not the most exciting thing in the world compared to maybe watching acrylic application, but I feel that this is really important because if I could teach it, do it live, show you guys how I remove it, reapply it, then this is going to give you guys a really good sense, especially a lot of you who are just starting uh, on what you need to do to be successful with gel polish removal and reapplication. Two coats are on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. 
I'm literally just going in through, I'm brushing on a nice even coat. Your, again, your detailing coats that you do, what I want you to do is you could do them in between coats, you could do them in between the edges. It's gonna be really hard to take your brush to try to get that like, basically as, as, as tight to the edge as you possibly can. You can use a, um, you could use a micro detailer to get around the edges. You could use a liner brush. There's a lot of different things that you can do to get your gel polish as tight as you can uh, from side to side. And then if you get it on the skin, then you can use some really good uh, bit. We have a, a series of bits some really tight cuticle bits that you're gonna be able to get in and get really tight, right? So for those of you guys, again, that get it on the edges, don't trip because what you're going to be able to do is you're gonna be able to do maintenance at the very end to clean everything up. Just making sure I got that little bubble out of the way. Whatever product I have on here, I'm just going to work it from side to side, right? This is gonna give her great coverage. And then what I'm really excited about with, with Manicure is once we're done, go ahead and switch out. Okay, we're done. So I don't, last but not least, all I need is the Manicure top coat. And then top coat is really the one that runs the most. So don't pile it on. Brush a coat, br brush on a coat, right? And then come through, brush a coat through the middle, brush a coat through the middle, brush the remaining amount from side to side. Top coat is where a lot of people trip because it runs the fastest. So from this point, what I'm gonna do is work a nice even amount from side to side. I don't want it running all over the place. And then once we get a really healthy amount from side to side, oops, a little bit of a Furby there, I got that. Okay, I'm not trying, again, go ahead and go ahead and switch. We're gonna go inside the light for another 60. This is, again, a speed set. You guys can make it look as perfect as you want. I'm telling you right now, you can spend, if you wanna spend an hour and a half doing a really, really flawless, like like it, it the edges look like they belong in a museum, dude, you can do that. But uh, Victoria doesn't have the time I don't have the time, so what I want to be able to show you guys is how you guys are going to be able to just jam, get this on, and get a set of gel polish on absolutely tight so that we don't have to waste precious time. It's, it's really all about speed application, but more importantly, you saw how I was able to remove it safely without doing damage uh, to the to the natural nail. So I'm just gonna come through. I'm gonna go ahead and work that off. Go ahead and switch. That is long enough. Okay, so we're going to let that set. Um, my suggestion to you is use uh, Manicure, Manicure Cleanser, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through. I need to remove whatever tacky layer is all the way through. Then I suggest for all of you guys that want, like, you know, a lot of people out there are like, don't break the seal, but our gel polish is really, it, it, the, the, the seal is incredible. So if you're using, again, something to get your edges nice and tight, right, you can come through and just detail everything absolutely perfect. I cannot speak for other base coats out there, but... The Manicure base coat has such exceptional adhesion, especially with protein bond, that once you put a file to the edge, it's not going to break anything. And then so when I'm last but not least, while well, that's actually curing out, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil. What I do, what I do recommend is that your customers, they, they, they oil on a on a daily basis let's go ahead and switch over to the other one as well i'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all of the dispersion layer i need to come through just to make sure that it's nice and even right i don't want any sharp edges around the sides just to make sure that everything is is well 
um, established. Everything is really nice and even. And then last but not least, I want to go ahead and take oil through the whole entire surface. So the best part about what I've done, right? I, I started, I started the process at 835. It is 905. Bro! 30 minutes to remove and reapply that set. So like, again, at the end of the day, it's like you can spend as much time as you want. You can get it as perfect as you want. Okay, it, 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 but if you're soaking, dude, I'm telling you right now, soaking sucks, right? You have to learn how to use your electric file to get the product off. New colors, man, coming Black Friday. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Pumped about it. We got new go time colors. I can't wait to show you guys as well. If you guys have any questions, make sure to hit us up. Talk about the man, the myth, the education coordinator. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Ray Bracamontes. Bracamontes. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and pin his name. You're gonna be able to get information on upcoming Zoom classes. There's nothing better than seeing it live. There's nothing better than actually witnessing how it's done. You got to see me remove it, reapply it. You got to see the new colors that are launching Black Friday. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for all your attention. If you guys have any questions, hit me up, hit us up. We're here for you. I love you guys much. Have a wonderful day. Peace.